uh, I wondered, uh, why has the tribe of Dan been omitted in the book of Revelations? Oh, that is a good, Scott, that is it. Scott, right? You yeah. said, uh, just so I remember right, Scott. And uh, the tribe of Dan, it's not just Revelation. I mean, uh, that is going to be fun to talk about. Uh, there are 12 tribes that God, uh, you know, they're the 12 sons of uh, Jacob. So Jacob has uh, 12 sons. And those uh, sons become the 12 tribes. But uh, Manasseh, actually, one of the sons is Joseph. He's one of the 12. And Joseph has two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. So what is really interesting, and, and I will say that, that I've thought about this for decades, um, when you look at the lists of the tribes, and there are many places, the tribes are, uh, I mean, all the way through the Pentateuch, the tribal names, uh, but also they're found in, in heaven, in the foundations. Uh, they're also found in the millennium, uh, descriptions of the minor prophets. And what you find is no two lists exactly agree. It's almost like an alphabet with 14 names because we have the 12 sons plus uh, Manasseh plus Ephraim, the two sons of Joseph. So there are actually 14 tribal names because in the, the monarchy, there's a tribe of Ephraim. They get an allotment, and there's a tribe of, of uh, Ephraim. So Manasseh and Ephraim get, and Jacob, I mean, Joseph doesn't, there's not, Joseph's mentioned as one of the tribes, but he doesn't get a tribal allotment. His two sons get. I mean, so it's almost like he got a double portion um, of, of the tribal. But what I say is that the tribes, there, there actually are 14 names. It's, it's like alphabet soup. And, and sometimes out of the pot of 14, God picks the original 12 sons of Jacob, which would not have Manasseh and Ephraim. Other times, God knocks out Dan. And that was uh, Scott's original question. And why would the Lord knock Dan out? And uh, let me just show you one reason. If you want to look in the book of Judges, uh, Dan, so Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. But what happens uh, is in chapter 17 and 18 of Judges, we find that Dan, more so than, than uh, almost any other tribe, Dan becomes associated earliest of all the 12 tribes with idolatry. And uh, it appears, and as you, uh, as you read the text, you know, it's Micah and the Danites, and this guy from this tribe, from Ephraim, it says in verse 1, whose name was Micah, uh, gets some money, makes an idol, and, and then the Danites... Uh, want it, and they adopt Micah's idolatry. So one man in chapter 18 influences a whole tribe, and this whole tribe of Dan is thought of among all the tribes as apostate, idol worshiping. And uh, originally their tribal allotment was down, you know, closer to Jerusalem in the south, and they didn't like it down there. And they moved, the tribe of Dan moved all the way to the north, uh, up north of the Sea of Galilee. And they moved up, if you, if you read here, this tells about it, how they, in verse 27 of chapter 18, the things Mike had made, the priests who belonged to him, they went to Laish. And that's up north of the Sea of Galilee and to the west. It's kind of in the northwest of the land of Israel. But the quick answer for you, Scott, is that depending on what God is, is wanting to communicate, um, he uses differing lists. And uh, le let me just um, mention the, the foundations of the city. When you, when you get to Revelation uh, chapter 21, 
it, it lists off that the, in verse uh, 12, great and high wall with 12 gates and 12 angels at the gates, and the names that were written on it were the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, it's interesting, which, which 12 are they going to be? And I would assume that when God reverts back to the tribal list, he, he follows the original descendants of Jacob. But when you talk about the 12 tribes as far as the inheritance of the land of Israel, Joseph is knocked out, Manasseh and Ephraim are there. But when you look at the millennium, Dan is knocked out of the list, and Joseph is put back in. But when you get to heaven, it appears that Dan is back. And for that reason, let me show you in, in Revelation chapter 7, um, it says, here's the 12 tribes. And, and you notice that, that in the 12 tribe list of the 144,000, verse 5 says, here are the 12 tribes, Judah, Reuben, uh, verse 6, or, or Gad, verse 6, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Manasseh, Manasseh is not one of the 12. Manasseh is a grandson, not a son of Jacob. The sons of Jacob were the 12. Joseph is there, if you notice, in verse 8. But who's missing in the 144,000? The apostate. Isn't that interesting? The 12 tribes are edited by God because he's not going to have an apostate be an evangelist. And so that's why uh, I call it an alphabet soup. But basically, you know, I could go on and on, but Scott, the reason why is the original 12 were the sons of Jacob. But because of Dan's idolatry, um, God blessed Joseph. This is not penalizing Joseph. It's doubling Joseph's share. Joseph was such, of all the sons, he was the least bad of Jacob's 12 sons. Jacob's sons were bad. I mean, they were, they were cruel to animals. They loved, they were murderous. I mean, they killed every man in Shechem uh, because of Dinah's rape. And I mean, they, you just didn't be a, want to be around the 12 sons of Jacob except for Joseph. And so God, because Joseph was such a seeker of the Lord, as we see when he said, to Potiphar's wife, I can't do this because God's watching. And he seemed to be the only one that noticed God was watching him of the 12 sons. So God doubly blessed him. Uh, but when we get to the actual list, Dan is in there. When we get to the foundations of heaven, Dan is in there. But when we get to other lists, the, the national allotments, Dan is not in it. Uh, Manasseh and Ephraim are, I mean, and Joseph's not in it, but Manasseh and Ephraim are. And the the 144,000 uh, are like this. Now also, one other thing, Levi never got uh, a tribal allotment uh, because the, the Levites were scattered all over the place. They got these cities of refuge. So, but that's why, and uh, it's a fascinating study.